Section 2. Road Skills 2A. Crossing the road Where there is a crossing nearby, use it. It is safer to cross using a pedestrian crossing, a footbridge, a traffic island, a subway or where there is a police officer or school crossing person. 2B. Using a pedestrian crossing Most traffic lights will have a button to help you cross. Push the button and look for the red and green men. On most crossings, these will be on the other side of the road, but on some, they will be above the button. Wait until the green man is lit up. Don't cross when the red man is lit. When the green man lights up, make sure all the traffic has stopped before crossing the road. Walk quickly, but do not run across the road. Keep looking and listening for traffic while you cross the road. If the green man is flashing, do not start to cross the road. 2C. Using a zebra crossing Stand on the pavement beside the zebra crossing. Look left and right and wait until the traffic has stopped from both directions. Walk across on the black and white lines. Keep looking and listening while you cross the road. Traffic islands. A traffic island can help you to cross the road. You must cross each as if you're crossing two roads and look left and right while doing this. Remember, cars do not have to stop for you when you're crossing at a traffic island. 2D. Bridges and subways. Footbridges can be used to cross very busy roads. Subways. If you're alone, subways may not be the best place to cross the road. It is better to walk a bit further and find a pedestrian crossing or other safe place to cross. 2E. The Green Cross Code. There probably won't be a pedestrian crossing on smaller roads. You will have to use the Green Cross Code. Find a safe place to cross. A safe place is where you can see the traffic clearly in all directions. Stop just before you get to the curb. Look all around for traffic. Look right, look left, then look right again. Listen for traffic. If there is any traffic coming, let it pass. When the road is clear, go straight across. Walk quickly, but don't run. Keep looking and listening while you cross the road. It is better not to cross between parked cars, as drivers find it hard to see you. Try and find somewhere nearby where there are no cars. If you have to cross near a parked cars, look and listen to make sure the cars are not going to move. Stand in the road between the parked cars and use the edge of the cars like the curb. Do not cross near a large vehicle like a lorry or van. Remember, use the green cross code to cross the road. Keep looking and listening. 2F. Where it is not safe to cross. Near a junction, near a bend, on top of a hill. 2G. Using roads in the countryside. If there is no footpath, you should always walk facing traffic that is coming towards you. Remember to walk close to the side of the road. Take extra care when two cars are meeting. If you are with someone, do not walk side by side. You should walk one behind the other or in line. The person with the brightest clothing should walk in front. 2H. Getting off a bus on a country road. Wait on the footpath or verge until the bus has moved well away. Stand on the verge and look both ways and listen for traffic. When no traffic is coming, walk straight across the road, looking and listening as you go. 2I. Other things to look out for. Look out for emergency vehicles with blue flashing lights and sirens. Police cars, fire engines, ambulances. If you see an emergency vehicle coming or hear a siren, do not cross the road. They can go very fast and may not be able to stop. Cyclists. Remember that you may not hear them coming. Bus lanes. Buses may be moving faster than the rest of the traffic. Cyclists might also be using this lane. They might be travelling quietly and fast. Be seen. You can make it easier for drivers to see you by wearing the right clothes. You should wear or carry something that is bright. At night, drivers can see you if you wear something reflective.